Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and the Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes it and I, today I have a finished object for you and it is a double special for me because this is my first ever show design which basically means I designed it. Actually, I have two finished objects. Let me show you both. It is a paid for pattern. If you're interested, check the link down below. I'm going definitely to leave useful links for you. So, okay, let's start. I'm going to tell you a few things about pattern and then I'm going to show you what tools I use for each of the shows. I have to start to say big thank you to my muse, the person who actually inspired me to do that. Thank you, thank you so much for being my lovely friend because basically this uh, shawl is dedicated to everyone who has that wild friend. So wild bloom, uh, someone who spice things up, who makes you smile, who does crazy things, who um, listens to you and you listen to that person and you have that relationship and especially in the knitting community something amazing because I don't physically have a person who's as crazy as I am about knitting and this community opens up to find as crazy person as you are and you both think that's okay. <laughs> So anyway, if you have a friend in your life, maybe this show will be something that you can give just to spice things up a bit. And the second thing that I have to thank, and especially uh, my test knitters who with open arms tested this pattern and I had a few hip up, hiccups, maybe at the end I'm going to tell you all about my, a few sentences about my design and my design hiccups in regards to the shell. But as I said, it was my first one, so my apologies were greatly appreciated. <laughs> Can I say that big issue? Anyway. So now, okay, so first things first. A few things about this show. First things about the show is a triangular show. Three sizes, but it's very easy to customize to whatever size you want. Just read instructions. Second of all, it is an iron weight yarn. However, my test knitters went to DK and some of them, even though I'm publishing now, so they're going to use fingering weight yarn, but using a large size. I'm curious what size they're going to achieve with that. But the shawl is amazing. I love it so much and it's so beautifully exposed with natural yarns and um, that's why I picked this one because I wanted to um, complement the name of it. We have wild bloom so I knitted it with natural yarns with this one my sample so my sample is a small size as you can see and you may have noticed that I had a small section to tight it under my neck and this this one is a little bit bigger this is the medium size and it was way easier okay so I won't forget anything to tell you what else you'd be interested in it is a bottom-up show what does it mean it means that we start, we don't start as most of the shawls from the tip over here. We basically cast on loads of stitches and then decreasing it. I love that idea because I'm a knitter that I have loads of energy at the beginning and then I can I can get bored with a project or if I go all the way around this all the amount of stitches it just overwhelms me. So I wanted to design something different. I know there was one thing that needs to be taken for consideration is that you have enough yarn. With the other way around it's quite simple. You can stop knitting and just add on the thing. And over here obviously you can also add, especially in the garter section, different color if you want. What else? I feel that while you're knitting this shawl you can get experience of running down the hill because you have less 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 stitches and that kind of can cut you into one evening sitting and instead of letting go you will continue it to finish it completely. It gives you such amazing feeling. I know. So I love this construction. Overall design, the, the shawl represents while you're knitting it those seeds that you put in the ground and meanwhile those beautiful wild thing creates when you're knitting it. It gives you such a feeling, gauge. To knit this shawl gauge is not really something that you 
should think about but at the end of the day we need to take that for consideration in regards yarn management so the pattern calls for 20 stitches by 24 rows I got that uh, knitting with iron yarn but you can get it with different one too so check it out it's uh, in stock in its stitch on US size 6 so 4 millimeter needles if you get that gauge with a different thickness of the yarn and you're happy with the texture go for it always try to do a small swap and that you're happy with the fabric you're getting that's not too dense or it's not too drapey or whichever you prefer if you're thinking of getting this pattern please browse through all the pages because the last page has photos and you don't need to print them I would say it just shows you the two stitches that you have information how to do that and abbreviations but my testament has said if that's not a problem for me to take photos how to do it and it'll be way clearer so I did so before you print check it out there's always function in the printer that you can knit just certain pages small information and quite important we have two sections and on the right side and on the wrong side of the show we will be decreasing up here but in the garden section we only decrease on the right side just to bear in mind that something like that will happen if you continue doing the same decreases you will get a different shape if you have any questions please leave comment comments down below yeah maybe now I'm going to show you what tools and yarn I used so let's start with my small sample and this sample you can see in the pattern now to knit this shawl I use this amazing bag this bag was made by my friend she doesn't have an Etsy shawl but it's called easy bikes so check her out maybe she would be eager to make a bag for you I put my keychain shawl to know what I have inside and obviously around that ring I have few progress keepers oh by the way you will need a bit of stitch markers for this pattern I use four millimeters needles this is interchangeable set hi highest in my lovely blue silent forest pouch interchangeable set for needles yarn here is my swatch this is a little thing that I did on the screen you can see what kind of yarn I use this is Bar Ram Eve Dobstone Natural Aran shade 3 and we have over here 100% British spun in Yorkshire wool we have a blend or three different breeds 50% Blueface Leicester, 25% Wensley Dale, Long Wool, and 25% Nashon. We have 185 yards in 100 grams, which is 170 meters. I had two skeins for the small size, and this is what I have left. For small size, I used top 165 grams. Always have a little bit more, especially if you don't check a gauge. So you have enough. So yeah, this is the shawl and this one I knitted and I created medium size. And the only yarn that I found in my stash that would be close enough to the same. And this time I would say I was going towards thickness on the, of the yarn. The previous one was 170 meters, so 185 yards per 100 grams. I found Zirder, which is a blend of 60% wool and 40% acrylic. So as you can see, uh, we have a blend over here. So we have over here 190 meters, which is 208 yards. And the color of it is just a number on the screen now. And front, it looks like this. As you may notice, I left a dingling thread over here just to show you, um, because for both of, the, of these shawls, I used two skeins. With this one, I still have leftovers of the medium size, that much. So basically, we'll be knitting this way. I want to show you that my 100 gram ball finished finished over here. To finish everything, I put my lovely tags with the heart and and with the sheep on the other side because it has a wool content, so it has to be washed by hand, and also over here. I took a small footage so you can see it on the screen now ages ago when it was a little bit cooler so I'm wearing a hat uh, on the screen what exactly the hat I'm wearing just in case you're wondering and link down below but you can see how it all matches with my let's say outfit and how you can use it and wear it with different arrangements around your neck 
I love it so much and I find it as a really quick knit for gift knitting. And don't forget, if you're not watching it now, which is July 2018, my first shawl pattern release, I'm going to host a um, Wild Bloom Cow. Subscribe, hit that bell, because in my next episode, I'm going to announce it and we can all start together. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, hit the like button and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Don't forget to use hashtag knitting. I love showing me what you're knitting. With this shawl, I have a special hashtag, which is wild bloom shawl. And if you survived and you're still watching, just to let you know down below, I'm going to create a code 20% down below. Check that show more or follow me on Instagram because I always put stuff on Instagram. Grab it if you can, it's just available for a short period of time. If you get it, you're lucky. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you're going to enjoy this shell. I can't wait to see your finished object. Bye.